everybody. Uh, this is Derek with Heal Your Disease. I'm here with Cass Ingram at Expo West 2018. Uh, thank you so much for hey, this. Hey, 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 my pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah. We are going to be talking about some of the new North American Urban Spice products today. Uh, my favorite has always been the Oreganol product. Yes, yes, yes. The Oreganol is a really superior, superior. Of course, that Oreganol is a crude extract with steam distillation. You have to use the steam to get it out. But it's the whole crude from the wild high mountain area. There's no uh, uh, synthetics added. It's not farm raised. A lot of the oregano oil on the market, even high carb crawl, is farm raised. Okay, right. But you, with this, at least you get 100% wild growing on the rock. Right. So the profile of this has about 30 to 33 active ingredients. Wow. When you measure many of the other oregano's, just so that people know, they can be as low as six active ingredients. Right. Manipulation. But this, you get the whole profile. I like it a lot, and I like the super strength, and I, I like these kind of economical gel caps when I travel yeah. for convenience. Well, right? a lot of people, thats it's a very strong flavor, and some <laughs> people need to ease themselves in with the with right. gel caps. Right, right. I mean, I, a lot of times I like to let people know that this is wild oregano. It's our, you know, our creator was very kind to make it in the mountains, wild, non-toxic, and of course it's mentioned in the Old Testament as being the purging herb. And a lot of people shy from it. How about 40 drops under the tongue? How about 80? Yeah. <laughs> Brave man. <laughs> it's harmless. So how long have you guys been doing that product? I know that, it's been around for a long time. It originated that about 1995. 95, okay. And so it's the best. In, and then, of course, you have the or aromatic water of or oregano. Okay. As they say. And that one, a tablespoon or two down the hatch, bang! <laughs> That's to give power and strength and high oxygenated. It. It, it's, it, it traps the oxygen in the steam. Yeah. And then that goes into a drum. So you have the steam going in here and the oil going in here. And then you have the new Ultra, right? The ultra. I love the Ultra because this is really truly wild carbacrol 85%. Wow. 84 to 85%. Most of the carbacrol we analyzed on the market, the claim of high carbacrol, is double, triple distilled, synthetic carbacrol. And so I like the idea that this is just what happens in nature, about eight to 10,000 feet above sea level, wow. up to 12,000 feet. This is fantastic for the biofilm issue. Ah, yes. Think of the ultra for the tough impossible. In fact, I'm going to be working on a study on using this in line. There's good work on high carbon crawl in that condition. So your, you know, your drug-resistant type germs, we have no hope, the candida, all this tough stuff. That's where yeah. the ultra comes in. I, I, I've seen more and more of that with people I work with, especially the uh, the biofilm. I mean, that's such a difficult issue. It's extremely difficult, and the drugs can't do it. In fact, when you take a lot of the drugs, then the bio, uh, germ makes the biofilm. Yeah. So the ultra, the study showed by Zhang and his group out of uh, John Hopkins that it dissolves that layer, and then the, the wild carbacrol goes in and destroys the, the pathogen. Well, tell me about some of these other products. I, I, I tried the raw elderberry, ah, and that's a really cool yeah, product. Yeah, now this is pretty cool because now elderberry, everybody thinks now flu and all that. No. Historically, they used it as a natural therapy across the board for skin conditions, for respiratory, for bronchial, for intestinal, for detox, for spring cleaning. So I said, well, why not make an elderberry that's raw? And don't worry about raw when you take the purple elderberry and you crush and you remove the seeds. You don't have a, a big cyanide issue. So you can use raw in that case. So the raw is for detox. The raw is also for the mucous membranes at large. The raw is for the skin. The raw is for keeping the immune system. Why wait until the crazy, you know, FLU season? Right. Uh, uh, take your crude elderberry even every other day or twice a week as a way to potentiate the immune system. Now, you know it has that inhibitor, the neur neuramidase inhibitor. I didn't know that. Yeah, the virus tries to get in, but when you take the elderberry, it, it coats that cell and it can't get in. Okay. So, so this isn't like your echinacea where you need to stop taking it after no, six weeks to build up colors. No, no, because elderberry has been used historically and ethnobotanically, purple, uh, for uh, overall health. There's no uh, overload, it's a berry. Okay. Very good. <laughs> I'm ready to tear them up. And it is Quit good feeding stuff, me all this try. stuff. Now they have this elder seed, which is the combination of the dried elderberry powder with the camu camu. Oh, okay, nice. Because once you process the elderberry, except the raw kind like that, 
uh, then you lose the seed. So if you want a powder for smoothies or you want it in capsules, you want it to be potentiated with the natural vitamin C, but not ascorbic acid, the synthetic. You want right. the one from nature. Right. right. And then finally, what I like a lot is these, well, these crude cannabis products. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, all the rage right now. Because now this is a crude, and I like to teach about quality and also efficacy. The, the issue with the cannabis or hemp, you want the raw, crude, whole food profile. Exactly. You th then you get the terpenes, you get the cannabinoids, you get the sterols, you get the waxes. So that's what you get here. Plus, it's raw, whether capsules or in drop form. But I really love that you're doing the raw, because I'm a huge proponent of raw. I think that that is where we need to move to really take care of all these serious issues. We've lost so much by cooking things and preserving things, so it's terrible. I really, really appreciate it. Did you ever see a bear in the woods that was constipated? You know, he's eating all that raw mass. And the same with the deer and the geese. We've got to have raw mass. Plus, the, we want the unaltered with the botanical. Right. Now, some things, of course, require some heat. Perfect. But when you can do raw, you do. What's beautiful there. about this, though, more than anything, it. is right. the terpenes. We just put a note on the back. Substance like beta carotene. Beta carotene so is, is a big terpene, right. right. and it binds to the CB2 receptors preferentially um, more than even CBD. It's a very aggressive anti-inflammatory, anti-neurological degeneration. It's a detox procedure. It definitely does. And bone mass. But the big thing is this. That perifylene in the raw food is a big for quality control in the cell. It induces a quality control uh, environment called autophagy. Autophagy is basically self-cleansing. So, so it causes the body to go around, pick up some bad stuff in a cell, digest it, get the lysosomes involved, clean, detox, preserve, and age, and also neural regeneration. But you can't get it unless you use it. So I do these, what I'll do with the two of you, I think they need to go back out. Well, what I'll do is we do cheap operating really off the cold. So we're on the phone for about 15, 20 minutes. Myself and all we my take followers. you through what's so, moving in our line. So we do this on a regular basis. Because well, see you next time, story, my friend, I'll, because I'll be if I'm living on yeah. elderberry and, oh, and, and oregano and cannabis, I got right. to be around for a while. Are, oh, I, I didn't have yours. Yeah. I wish I had yours because I'm out of everything, though. But I am a passionate, but fail to follow me.